I feel like a complete idiot because I did not burn any confetti. <laughs> and everyone brought confetti but me. Can you guys do me a favor, real fast, um, if I could? Can I take your picture? Sure. All you get, just. <laughs> it, it's okay if I can take your picture. Right now, I just took your picture, and I can send it to you. Like, you want to see it? Right now, I can show it to you. See? That's all you guys, right there. Can you see that? <laughs> but that's the, that's the cool thing about the age we live in now. I can take a picture, and I can send it to you. You have it like that. I mean, you can send it to your friends, and you can send it to your friends. You can tag it on Facebook, and you can send it to people in other countries, and they'll have it just like that. By the time we leave here, more than 100 people will have already seen this picture. Isn't that amazing? When I was your age, when I was, I was your height and your, your age and your weight, you know, right now, you can take a picture with, with your camera. You, I mean, you can take a picture with your, your, with your phone. You can take a picture with your iPod. What you listen to on the, on the, you can take a picture with that. You can take a picture with your iPad, those big rectangular things. You know what I needed to take a picture with when I was your age? A camera. Okay? And one, one of these things. And see, you can see how, see how this fits in my pocket? And you see how this doesn't fit in any pocket that I have? This is what I had to take a picture with when I was your age. A camera. And you know what I needed more than a camera? I needed film. <laughs> film. You don't even know what that is now. Because it doesn't even exist. You're right. I, you don't know what that is. Film. I needed film to take a picture of what I just did. Okay? And I would have to go buy the film. And see, right now, if I took a picture with my, uh, with my phone, Okay? I don't have to send it anywhere. I can just send it right to you. With this, I need a film and then I have to take a picture. Like, you want to see what I just did with you guys? Like this, okay? I'm going to take a picture. Boom. Okay? You want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> well, see, I, when I bought the film, it had 24 shots on it. <laughs> and you guys are number four. <laughs> so I have to take 20 more pictures. And finish up this role, okay? Finish up this role. You know how scary film. You know what the funny and embarrassing part of this? I couldn't even find film to do this joke. <laughs> do you understand? It's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. The place where I bought film, it was a camera shop on 22nd and Walnut. It's a sushi restaurant now. I walked in there and said, "Do you have any film?" And they looked at me like I didn't know what I was talking about. But I had to, I had to buy film when I was a kid, and I had to. Finish up the roll. It's like if you're picture number four, I gotta take 20 more pictures. And then once the roll was finished, I had to take the film out of the camera and then take it to a CVS or a writing. Okay? Because they develop film. And I'd leave it with a total stranger. And then I'd have to wait. The good news was sometimes some of them had them in two days. Others had them in a week or two weeks. So then I had to wait to get the camera, get my film back, to get the picture that I just took of you. And I had to wait two weeks. And then happens, you know what happens in two weeks. You got school, you got work, you got, you got stuff to do, you got bills to pay, you got, you know, life gets in the way. And then you were reminded, hey, what about those pictures that we took? Remember we went to Five Minute Follies? You guys got those pictures? And then you gotta go back and get them. And you have to look through the pictures. And if you, you had your eyes closed, or if you got your finger in it, it's all we're done with. It's like, how old are you? Eight years old. You're eight years old, okay? I took pictures of you on your eighth birthday. By the time I got the pictures back, you were 10. <laughs> it's like, I can't get, oh, it's, oh, the pictures didn't come back, didn't come out. And sorry, but can we get everyone back to celebrate our eighth birthday again and get the same? No. That's what I had to go through. So if I took a picture of you on your eighth birthday, it had to mean something. It had to count. Okay? You couldn't change. Literally. This is how old I'm here. I took pictures of people's weddings with my camera. By the time I got the pictures back, they were divorced. <laughs> True story. Ben and Kate, I took pictures at their wedding. I had to wait. I had to put the pictures in, wait for them to come back out. I got them. 
And I had to mail them to them. That's another thing. I couldn't just press a button and send it to Ben and Kate. I had to put the pictures in an envelope, put a stamp on it, and mail it to them. So when they got the pictures of their wedding, having already been divorced, they were not happy with me. <laughs> but that's a story for another time. But that's what I had to go through. And the thing is, where you dropped off your pictures, and you used to drop them off at a drugstore. But there were these little tiny houses, when I was growing up, called photo mats or photo booths. And they were big enough for two people. And all they did all day was get pictures of other people, and they went to develop your pictures. So people that you took pictures of are seeing your other photos. So if you want to take pictures of yourself, or say go in a bathroom mirror, and take pictures of parts of yourself, someone else would see them before you came to Target. The person at the photo booth is going for your pictures, and then when they're done, they'll give them to you. So the guy at the photo booth, when you go to pick up your pictures, they're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> Nice grooming you have down there, but it's, <laughs> it's all different than others, kids. You know, I, I was talking about his hair. See, that's you. That's your thing. I was talking about the person's hair. But the wondrous age that you live in now, you can get a picture taken and it'll be done like that. When I was your age, I would have to take a picture of my dinner, okay? Wait for the roll to finish. Take the roll into the drugstore or the photo mat. Wait for it to come back and then go to each one of my friends' houses and show them the picture of my dinner that I took. <laughs> With a little caption, mmm, isn't this good? <laughs> and it, it, when you were my age, you couldn't stand in front of the bathroom mirror with the duck face and... <laughs> because a month later, you don't know how it looked. You know, because when the flash goes off, and every camera had a flash, by the way, you couldn't turn off the flash. The flash goes off, it goes push, and you couldn't see anything. <laughs> So when you got your pictures back a month later, you don't even look like this anymore. You know, the, the bathroom mirror picture doesn't work with a camera. It doesn't work at all. One of the best inventions ever made was a Polaroid Instamatic camera. Because that was when you took a picture, and the picture would come out like a pen dispenser. Okay, but then it was more work involved because then you had to shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, like a Polaroid picture. You know, just like the Hey Y'all song. So when you're shaking it, waiting for the photo to come out, okay, it takes take 30 seconds, but sometimes it takes longer. So when you're out of breath, and the photo's there, and oh, you blinked, and oh, my finger was in it, oh, we gotta take it again. And these big cardboard plastic photos were all you had to remember. So if you lost this photo, you lost the memory. But these things, they're there for all time, and everyone can see you at any time, at any place, and anywhere. So, be happy that your phones can take pictures. I can't call anyone on this, okay? I can't listen to music to, any, to anyone on this. I can't send an email to anyone on this. This is the future. This is the future that we left you. You're welcome. <laughs> my name is Craig Lagarde, and this has been my five-minute valley on stage. <laughs>